This is the introduction to cryptocurrency. And of course, the first question is, what is cryptocurrency? Well, it's a digital money created from code. It is inherently decentralized, freeing it from governmental oversight. It is impossible to hack. It's impossible to forfeit. It's a digital economy secured by peer-to-peer -peer internet protocol referred to as the blockchain. That's the big idea here, the blockchain. It's as potentially revolutionary to our economies and technologies as the internet has been. If nothing else, take away the thought that this is like hearing about the internet in the late 80s and realizing the potential impact 25 years out. Wouldn't you like to know more? Speaking to this audience, wouldn't you want to invest in something like that? So it's all well and good to throw around the buzzwords like internet in the 80s, but that of course brings skepticism and doubt and questions like, is this a fad? Is this a bubble? And this is where it gets kind of tricky to give advice and education. The cryptocurrency market is volatile and fast compared to other markets. Some may wonder if they missed the boat and maybe others will suspect that this is a get rich quick scheme. But I'm here to tell you that neither of those things are true. This is a market just like anything else. Most indications of bubbles are probably motivated by people's sheer disbelief that a domain can exist where it is possible to earn truly enormous profits over a short period of time. When an early investor purchased two pizzas for 10,000 bitcoins in 2010, one bitcoin was worth less than a penny. Now, one bitcoin can be traded for $4,000, or for those keeping score, roughly $20 million per pizza. There is, however, nothing magical about such price increases. This is how entrepreneurs and asset speculators generally earn their money. The only way for someone to gain in a competitive market is to find a resource that is currently undervalued and resell it at a later time at a higher price. Until very recently, there has been ample space in the crypto market for just that because very few people knew about and believed in cryptocurrencies. So they followed them and they built them up. And that's why this isn't simply the dot-com bubble or the tulip bubble or the housing bubble. It isn't just a currency anymore. It's not trying to disrupt just one facet of the economy. There are businesses being built around the blockchain technology. These are ideas and technologies that have the potential to disrupt, to disrupt banking systems, how we do business, how we transact, how we interact, and even whole economies based around a central bank. Truly no one knows what tomorrow will bring, and perhaps nothing will come of these new technologies. But I assert that it is in your interest to give them more than just a passing glance. So if this has piqued your interest, now you have to ask the question of how do you get started? To invest in this market, there are several questions you need to ask yourself first. First, how comfortable are you with your high risk investments? What is your risk tolerance? Begin with the end in mind. What is your entry and exit points for any trade? This part should be easy. It really is no different in this respect from other investment vehicles. However, this is a highly speculative market and it is very possible to lose your investments if you're not careful. The best defense I can recommend is to start small and to start slow. Only trade what you can lose and don't day trade unless you are ready and informed. All that out of the way, the first step into the crypto market is to exchange your fiat for cryptocurrency. The best way to do this is through a fiat exchange. The biggest one that serves US customers is Coinbase.com. Once you sign up, add your bank information and get verified, you're able to exchange your fiat for Bitcoin, Ethereum, or Litecoin. I like to refer to these as the big three. Coinbase gives you the option of either paying with a credit card for instantaneous access to your currency or paying via a bank transfer, which will take seven days, but will have a lower fee. If you only want to invest in Bitcoin or Ethereum, the number one and two coins respectively, that's all you really need to do. But if you want to trade the over 1000 other cryptocurrencies assets to participate in ICOs, which are initial coin offerings, and really delve into the vibrant crypto market, then you'll probably want to watch tomorrow's video. Thank you for watching, and if you have any questions, feel free to email me at crypto at readysetgorilla.com.